On today's video, we're gonna review the website that won the Flux Students Flux Pro Web Design Challenge for January. It's a great website and by reviewing it, I think you'll learn a lot and have many great ideas to use on your next web design project. Let's rock and roll. Hey everybody, what's up? So this month I've threw a first first time a challenge for my students at Flux Academy. I told them that the best web design this month is going to win AirPods Pro and I did it, I heard somebody else do it um, when they were teaching people Webflow and I actually thought what a great idea to motivate people to do really great work and push them harder. A lot of people have always come up with excuses, oh maybe I'll do this project next month or maybe I'm, I'm, not, I'm you know, I bought the course but I'm not gonna learn it this month. So this is a way to kind of motivate people to take action and it turns out the community really, really loved it and there were many great submissions Let's jump right into the submission that won and I'll show you why I love it so much. So let's dive into it. So this is the website of Eduardo Muniz. It's actually his personal website, kind of portfolio website. Immediately you you look at it and there's like so many things going on because there's like this flickering background and the text rewrite itself. So immediately it grabs attention. Now these titles, what if you could stop global warming? What if you can invent something disruptive? What if it asks you questions? So immediately it engages you in it, but pay attention because of course he's a designer. He's gonna work with entrepreneurs, people who are just starting a business. So he kind of got into the mindset of the people who are going to visit his website and think they are just starting a new project they're really excited about. And he's talking to them and ask them questions to show that he understands that they're excited about creating something new, changing the world, creating something groundbreaking. and. They want to tell themselves, yes, I want to be part of those, you know, innovators, people who change the world. That's me. So immediately it creates kind of emotional connections with them. So there's, I think this is really smart from both design perspective. He kind of grabs your attention with this flickering and changing text. But from emotional perspective, by appealing to them and talking to them and making them want to be part of the group of people that he works with, he creates a great emotional connection. I really love this. Also, Kind of take a look at the navigation. There's like two languages here. There's the menu, his logo, and then the social media links. I think he kind of distributed them nicely enough so that we can understand where everything is. And I think it's pretty, pretty smart. Um, and call to action, not huge call to action, but well, at least it's here. Now when we're starting to scroll, um, we're getting into define the goals kind of a section about what he does, and then crafting the right message, identity design. What I love about these is, you know, we've seen so many websites today for clients and portfolio, and they're all pretty much looking the same, you know, with the same mock-ups using the same kind of maybe trendy illustration or trendy graphics that we see everywhere. And here, Eduardo came up with quite, maybe simple but unique visual language where he took kind of collages of things that it gives a very distinctive visual language. It also helps to communicate the text. So craft your message. There's a pen here, there's a type, there's a mouth. So it all kind of resonates with the image, but it's very, very unique, the visual language. So I think this is really smart because everybody's going to remember, oh, it's that purple, black and purple website with collages. Immediately it clicks and it creates, it puts him in a position where where this website is turning out to be memorable. And he's doing this while still maintaining, you know, one thing that I always talk about when I review website is the lack of hierarchies. But here the hierarchies are always very clear. The main text is always much bigger and bolder. So it's very clear where to look at first. Number one, the title, maybe number two, the visual. And then we have here the text and kind of a call to action. So the hierarchies are very clear. Even though there's a lot going on, it the, you know it still feels minimalistic and very very clean. So I like this. This those are basically the reasons. Now that you get here, um, I help professional build personal brands, strengthen their online authority, cause uh, and cause the impact they pursue. So he's talking about you know the value he brings to them and he helps them make an impact. Basically, again, what they're trying to do. Um, here we get into the kind of portfolio section and then call to action at the end and then a blog. So I think this is really well structured. One thing that, you know, I would give Eduardo a feedback is that when you go to the project and you click view project, 
it opens up in a new page, which I don't really like. This is really annoying to me because when I want to go back, I try to click the back button and it doesn't work. I have to close this. But when you talk about you know, the, the portfolio project themselves, I think this is really well done because what you can see that Eduardo really knows his art direction. He's not just showing kind of screenshots and I think what a lot of people are doing when they're showing brandings is here's the logo and here's the color palette, which, you know, it's kind of boring to look at. Okay, it's and it makes the work very technical. Now by, by doing this very beautiful image of the business card and by adding a little bit of an animation and putting the, the brand into context, you really can see that the work shines and that the color palette makes sense together. It's not just kind of like out of context. So I think this is, this is a pretty good way to show a portfolio. Here it is a little bit screenshotty, I would say here in this part. Um, again, it's, it's nicely done with the drop shadow and everything. But um, I think this looks better, you know, with the devices looks much better. I don't really know why you need them both. But anyway, I, st I really still like the, the art direction of this. Let's see what happens next project. Now we're staying on the same page. All right. So I still don't like the opening of a new website, uh, the opening of a new tab here. But overall, I think this is a really, really great website. I think you can learn a lot from this around how to create, first of all, very visually memorable website grab attention, talk in a way that creates immediately um, an emotional connection with the people that you're trying to engage with on your, on your website, always have calls to action, always have clear hierarchies. So I think there's really, really a lot of good things on this website, which again, have won Eduardo the AirPods Pro. And I'm really excited about, you know, working with the, the Flux Academy students to try to motivate them. I was blown away by the amount of the submission. So I'm going to put up this, um, I think I'm going to do this monthly, this web design challenge, because people really seem to love it. And I got to see how creative the students are. So thank you for everybody who's been participating. If you want to check out, um, this is this challenge, by the way, is for students in both my courses, the $10,000 website process and the Webflow Masterclass, because both of them are designing websites. So if you're in one of them, please join our next challenge. If you're not a student yet, you can check the links below to see if you want to improve your web design skills. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.